What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you five ways to remove parts from a circuit board, or desolder, unsolder. First one is, if you have a surface mounted part on a circuit board, you wanna use a heat gun. And I have my heat gun set for 390 Celsius. And you wanna apply the heat, and you wanna use flux if if it doesn't remove so flux is just a, a a chemical that helps you bond the solder to the board or actually helps you um, remove the parts from the board uh, actually I'm going to choose an easier part to remove like this capacitor right here and so I'm going to use a little bit of flux And that really helps remove the parts. I zoom in a little bit. There you go. And so we're gonna heat it up. And just uh, don't rip it off the board. You wanna let the heat gun do its work and liquefy the solder or solder, some people call it the proper term and this is a game of patience if you rip it off then you're gonna destroy the traces on the board and you just want to slightly lift up right there and that's how you remove it See. You can do that, you just collect parts. This is a test board. This is actually a bad circuit board, I replaced a TV board. And so all the parts that you test are reading good, you can like salvage those parts to repair other boards. But what happens if you have a power supply board, like this one, that it isn't double-sided board, and the parts are not surface mounted? Well, these are, but these aren't. So I'm gonna show you that way. Now I'm using a Vivo Home soldering station. This model is 898D and it has a rework station, which is, here's the heat gun. Turns on when you remove it from the dock and the uh, temperature is adjustable. And it also comes with a soldering iron, which you can adjust the temperature. I highly suggest getting a soldering iron that you can adjust the temperature. So I have my heat gun set for, I believe, 390 and my soldering iron set for 380 Celsius, which I believe it's around, if I'm not mistaken, around 750 Fahrenheit. And so to remove this capacitor, you want to free it from the board. There's glue right here and you just pry it off, wiggle it off, and then the inexpensive way to remove parts from a power supply, like a capacitor, blown capacitor, is just to heat up the legs from underneath the board like this, pull one side out, just like that, and then heat it up, let it liquefy, and then pull the other side out. That is the inexpensive way to remove a capacitor. All right, now the next method it's not really my favorite method, but it works. And here's another capacitor. I'm showing capacitors because they're most common to go bad in power supply. All right, so right here, here's a capacitor on this side. And you can do it this way. Now, this way is safer on the traces. If you pull out the capacitor and it's not properly heated, you can rip off the traces or the solder pads which is not good, so it's a little bit safer to do this method, but you can still overheat the board and the solder pads can get damaged and separate from the board. You don't want that. So this right here is called a desoldering wire and it's basically just a braid, copper braid with flux in it. It's a chemical agent that absorbs the solder it helps absorb the solder into the braid. And then you just want to apply 
right there and lay it on top of the solder joint and then heat it up and then just pull and let it soak in let the solder soak into the braid now if it doesn't have any flux in it then you want to add flux and flux you could buy separately this is flux this is flux paste so let's see if this comes out so one side came out the other side did not so if that happens let's go ahead and solder this one back on so if that happens you can follow up with a solder sucker or solder plunger it's really cold and you just heat up the solder joint let it liquefy cover up right here and then press the button and it should suck out the solder and then if you remove this you can you know remove the excess solder that's in here make sure you clear that out you know once it fills up but it should be removed from this point on there it goes it just rolled away so that is not necessarily the, the easiest method I'm going to show you the easiest method and the best method and the most expensive of course method so let's find another part we can do here's another capacitor all right it's glued once again you have to pry it out and here's the pins right here C7423 is a location number and my favorite method is using a desoldering station this cost me around 80 bucks on Amazon of course and then you just heat it up right here it's set for 750 Fahrenheit I believe yeah. so you want to go ahead and cover up a solder joint and then twist and then press the trigger and then now that is done and then do it again cover up the solder joint twist and press the trigger and then remove and then remove the cap that is the fastest easiest method using a desoldering station and that link will be in the video description too as well these are affiliate links just to give you a heads up and later on you want to of course maintenance the desoldering gun and you shove this wire through right here and clear out any solder that could be clogged in there and then you remove this container over a garbage can and clean that out as well so there is maintenance involved with this desoldering station so guys if this helped you out give me a big thumbs up and check out my other tech videos in the video description below if you know anyone that this video will help go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them thanks guys for watching